Hey, hey, YouTube, what's happening? It's Christmas Day, 2022. And I wanted to do, as a Christmas present, not that any of these guys care, any of these channels or people care, but uh, I wanted to do a quick shout out, thank you list, something like that, whatever. Channels to check out, whatever you want to call this. I just guess it's a YouTube shout out list. Now, it's not all metal channels. There are a couple channels in here that I would call more like hard rock, classic rock, mixed type of media type stuff. You know, one in particular that does reviews and panel shows discussions which is where i stole my panel idea from i'm gonna be straight up and i'll mention that one guy right off the top pete pardo over at sea of tranquility was the reason that i started to think about doing this was the guy that really uh you know kind of was the spark that got me thinking man i could do something like that and i have a lot of stuff although i don't have i don't have i probably have half of what pete does if that probably less than half if you mix in all his blu-rays Blu dvds and all that kind of stuff pete's like man that's insane but i don't think i don't think pete has two kids that he put through college i could be wrong if i am i apologize but i you know that changes things a lot plus i've got the added bonus of having my health situation which uh, just drags on and on and on and it's going to continue to drag on because i have to go out to mayo clinic now in february i think and usually going to mayo clinic is not a that's not a good thing. But anyway, enough of that. Um, so, yeah, Pete Pardo, Sea Tranquility, you know, that was the, the channel that for me, you're going to see me look up a little bit because I got a list here and I can't remember all these people. I'm too stupid for that. Um, yeah, they were, that was the, you know, that was the thing that got the wheel turning for me. Um, <clears throat> and then I, I happened upon the Friday night streams that uh, Marty and those guys were doing marty and eric and uh, i forget who else pat and matt i think were in that and um those guys when i started watching them it kind of got the wheels turning a little bit further and there was some encouragement in that camp to do this and then it took me another she's probably close to a year to finally get off my ass and and try to do it and i didn't really get serious about it at all until maybe september october of last year and then I got, you know, had COVID and had to get over into this new place and get us moved. And that was brutal. And by the time I got through that, I kind of went dormant again for many, many months. But I've been very active lately and I'm going to continue to try to do so until I can't. And uh, lots more on that at the very tail end of this video. But yeah, a lot of great channels out there. And there's ones that I, I need to caveat this right up front and say this. I don't watch a lot of metal channels anymore. I kind of find there's a lot of redundancy. There's a lot of the same old stuff. Um, I tend to watch more of the classic rock shows because they tap into some things that, you know, I guess in a weird way are more aligned to me. I love a lot of extreme metal, death metal, some black metal, um, experimental metal, tech death stuff like that i love a lot of that stuff and i own a lot of that stuff <clears throat> but it's not all i listen to you know i listen to <laughs> pop music i listen to classic hard rock i listen to jazz i listen to 80s bands i love 80s bands i love 80s music i love it dark ambient and ambient and um uh, some glam and i love some i love me some 80s hair metal man i love striper and fucking rat and docking and stuff like that so i can't just be locked into this constant death metal black metal thing in my watching habits i just don't enjoy it to that level but to those people that do it killer awesome it's, you know it's your thing man if it's your passion do it because you're only here once man and time can be very very short so enjoy it while you're here and do it by the way the temperature in lancaster pennsylvania where i live <coughs> excuse me is a balmy four degrees outside and this is the temperature in my bedroom it is a uh, 62.1 you probably can't see it. it's backwards probably right yeah 62.1 in my bedroom we won't get into the battle i'm about to get into with my landlord because i can't put anything on here because of the legalities of how it may be used in a court of law against me but anyway moving on that's a joke 
Pete Pardo and Sea of Tranquility was numero uno influence, and I appreciate that. And I still watch a little bit of his content. I still watch the Prog Seed, and I watch um, Hudson Valley Squares on occasion. The um, What's it called? The Monsters Den I occasionally cash in on, and him and pa uh, Martin Popoff I'll check in on. And Pete's great at this, does a killer job. I don't know how he finds the energy or the time to work a full-time job, have a wife have a life and fucking do as much as he does on his his channel it's insane man that dude must never sleep or or he's doing meth i don't know he's not doing meth. that's a joke um okay so i'm not i'm gonna do the non-metal stuff last i'm gonna do the metal channels first and we'll hit those first up is my bro my dude rick can rick c i'm not gonna say any last names rick c from the dreadful minutes channel rick is Everybody that knows Rick in the metal community knows what an amazing dude this guy is. Just such a a beautiful human being, giving to a fault, I think. Um, caring, kind, funny. Well, okay. The funny bit, if you want really bad puns and really bad jokes, go see Rick because he's the best at it. Love you, buddy. Um, but yeah, he does a lot of... Uh, thematic type videos where he'll pull in several different uh albums and cds and whatever tapes and things like that from his collection and he'll kind of go in themes i think we all know him in the metal community or many do for his incredible incredible uh, photoshop graphic art skills he's just a monster he's helped me in ways i'll never be able to repay i'm getting some money from christmas i think Rick's getting a big part of that money for helping me out because he's just done gone way beyond the pale to help do all kind of things for me. He did artwork for my channel that we can't reimagined artwork for gas masks and hand grenades and um, you know replacing the metal madness theme and we can't get it to load. We're not sure what to do on that, so that might be coming soon. A change there. Uh, many of you may notice my avatar is different and. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, Thralls of Metal, Nick, Jam and John, Shred Lord and Miller. I don't know Shred and Miller nearly as well as I know John and Nick. I know very well. Very good friend, I think. Uh, great, great dude. You know what you get from Thralls, man. Reviews, 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 reviews. reviews. If you want reviews, go to Thralls because there ain't no better game in town. On the internet, in the YouTubes, Nick is the man, the legend, the insane person. Shh, don't tell him I said that, okay? Uh, John, really cool dude, too. And um, great, great guy. Shred, funny fucking guy. I mean, <laughs> he, he makes me laugh. Miller, I don't really... I've had some interactions with a couple times, but I don't really know him that well. So, uh, But he seems like a super cool dude, too. So next up, Brian T. over at Brian Arkham. Brian hasn't been doing much content of late. I think he said he only did seven videos this whole entire year. I think I've done seven videos in the last month and a half. More on that later. <coughs> um, I think it's so cold I've developed pneumonia while I've been sitting here talking to you. But yeah, Brian, man, another very good friend. One of the Satter Slay crew dudes, which Rick is part of as well. Um, Brian tends to do either collection updates or, again, thematic sort of uh videos he does a lot of collabs he was on my allison chains collab i keep trying to get him to do the tangerine dream one and some other ones and he's he's just not into it right now which i respect but he does sit in with us on the satyr slay crew uh streams and has on almost all those and he's a fucking great dude and we we've had a lot of conversations outside the confines of youtube and he's just a swell kind of guy uh jake over at the upside down church i don't think jake's is been doing as much either but i have to admit i love me some jake this dude is just a good human being great guy been a little mia of late i think he's got a lot going on he started a new job a couple months ago he's got some big news coming that some of us know about that i won't mention other than to say he's got some big news coming up in the months coming where he's going to be very busy and we'll probably never see him again um his channel the upside down church focuses primarily on atmospheric black metal black metal uh, some death metal and other stuff. He likes other shit too. Jake and I are like blood brothers because we both love the Bee Gees so much. That's no lie. We both love the Bee Gees for real. 
Um, we got to do that Bee Gees deep dive, Jake, except for I don't own all their albums and probably never will, and you won't either, but uh, we'll, maybe we'll review what we own. <laughs> <coughs> Again, I apologize for my cough here. Um, Jake also is a specialist in uh, greatest hits CDs. Taylor Swift, Britney Spears. I, I think that's true. Don't try to lie about it, Jake. I'm pretty sure you own those two CDs. I remember you showing one of those two anyways. The other one might be me uh, manufacturing manufacturing that for uh, comic relief here. But he also uh, loves Alice in Chains. He has greatest hits. He uh, loves Megadeth. Has the greatest hits. Uh, Creed has greatest hits. So, yeah, that's Jake. Um, Future Ruins, man, my brother from another mother. Jimmy out in Colorado. Man, I love this fucking guy. He's done, again, like Rick has done so much for me. In fact, he sent me a laptop, an old work laptop that was going to be trashed. Oh, did I say something I wasn't supposed to say, Jimmy? Oops. Uh, no, this guy went above and beyond uh, the call of duty and checked in with me a two weeks ago and said, hey, did you get a laptop? I'm like, no, nah, man, I can't afford to do it. Still fighting to get this ability and figuring that out. And probably won't know until March. But anyway, he sent me this laptop. And it's a really nice Ultrabook Dell. And so I'm trying to remember how to use Windows because I was always a Mac dude and kind of got lazy with that shit. So we're, we're working on it. But hopefully in the future that means some edited videos finally. Um, Jimmy, I love you, man. Jimmy does the bomb diggity uh, videos incorporating hiking and the musical accompaniments that he puts with them. Generally black metal, generally atmospheric black metal, but he's a death metal guy too. He's also a prog guy. Jimmy, you will know if you watch my deep dives, live streams, he's on the live streams with us, but he's also featured heavily in a lot of my deep dives, man. Uh, Porcupine Tree, Rush, <coughs> uh, Opeth. Steve Wilson. Um, who else? Who else? Oh, shit. Jimmy, I'm sorry. There's so many of them I forget. Agalock. Uh, Bathory. Um, 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 Enslaved. Jimmy's been on probably more of my deep dives than anyone, but maybe Surge, probably? I think, yeah. So, uh, dude, I love you, Jimmy. You're the best. Maze of Torment, Devin. You guys know if you watch the streams or you follow me at all, you know that I I, uh, I aggravate and agitate young Devin T out in California. Um, but we're buddies, and uh, he's kind of like like a son to me now because he is young enough to be my son. He's actually younger than my kids, and he's a great kid. Has really really good taste in death metal and black metal. Um, and other stuff, right, Devin? Like, who's your daddy? Who got you into Prague? This cat right here. This cat right here. Uh, but he does. He likes a lot of Prague. <clears throat> um, Rush, Marillion, you know, cool cool stuff like that. And, um, yeah, Devin and I break each other's balls relentlessly. But it's all out of love. Yeah. It's all out of love. But yeah, check out Maze of Torment. Uh, next up, Analog Archives. Dennis out in ne Nevada, Nevada, whatever, you, however you call it. Uh, Dennis, OG, Dennis O G F. That's his last name. It begins with an F. Uh, this dude is fucking killer. Love hanging with Dennis. Dennis and I started a. 80s flashback series, which I'm going to announce a new episode coming up here, we think, on the 5th of January. I believe we're going to do it the 5th or 6th or 7th, somewhere in that range. Well, no, it's not the 7th because there's other big news on the 7th. Um, it's definitely not the 7th, but he is joining us for what's going on on the 7th, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. So, Dennis, Analog Archives, fucking OG thrash, OG rap, OG death, OG black metal um but the cool thing about dennis is he's closer in age to me and he loves a lot of other fucking killer hair metal and you know traditional metal and just you know he's got a killer fucking collection of craziness also does some stuff with vhs which i got rid of my vh stuff for you know many many years ago i don't i don't reside in that nostalgia place but it's cool people do like dennis um 
he loves horror movies like I do, so, you know, maybe we'll do a horror thing coming up in the future. But, yeah, man, fucking Dennis. I love me some Dennis at Analog Archives. Killing for Company Kellen, man, what a great dude. Cerebral, articulate, handsome. Did I say handsome? That sounds weird. He's a good-looking cat. I'm very secure in my masculinity, so I can say that. Um, great guy. Very, very cool. Uh, Kellen's fairly eclectic too Gets into the death Gets into this real weird grind And really out there shit That I don't dabble in But he's also down with a lot of the You know <coughs> <coughs> Again I Sorry I got this lung thing happening um, He does He's got a wide palate For a fairly young dude And that's cool Gotta love that um, He is He uh, is Work, work with me on a project here that's coming up. We're going to talk about the thing on the 7th. And um, just super smart, super cool guy. Love Kellen, really great dude. Uh, he also does the, um, what's it called? The heavy metallurgy, I can't say that word. Heavy metallurgy album book club thing or whatever that they do on uh, Wednesday nights, I think it is. Wednesday night. <coughs> um Let's see, what else we got? Trunk, drunken Metalhead Musings. He's kind of a new dude to the crew. Great guy, Logan. Really, really cool fucking young guy. Um, you know, pushing 30, but not, not, you know. Again, he could be my kid, which is crazy. <laughs> it just goes to show how fucking old I am. Uh, but he's awesome. Logan's super cool. Has a pretty wide palate. Knows a lot of crazy grind, but he really likes Prague. He's been on, I think he's only been on one of my... Is it one or two? He was on the Agalot deep dive, but I don't know if he's been on another. But we'll have him on in future ones. Lots more to come. Uh, Accusation Network. Matt up at Accusation Network. Uh, man, Matt does, in my opinion, probably the most professional videos that you will see amongst all the, the cats that I fraternize with. Uh, I think he did, did this or does this for a living, you know, doing video editing and audio work and stuff like that i don't know for sure but i get that feeling i think i read that or saw that somewhere and matt kind of focuses on um some cool little series like he takes old magazines from the 80s and 90s and whatnot and reads through them and goes through some of the stuff that was hot, you know hot and heavy at the time and um reviews those he does re really well done reviews of the stuff that's coming out uh, for like record store day, uh, puts a lot of time and effort into that. And does a lot of great graphics for that. He's very, hey, this is Matt from the Accusation Network. Just teasing, buddy. Uh, he's very, very pro, very, very pro. Unlike this fucking mess you're seeing right here, where I'm fiddling with my wonky looking, weird, bulging hair here. I had my hair up in a a man bun a while ago, and it's so fucking cold in here. I let it down so that it helped sort of insulate me a little bit. So I got some weirdness going on, a lot of dryness in the air. So I got, you know, static cling. S&T Young, Steve over there. I don't get to see a lot of Steve's stuff. Uh, Steve does post, has posted a lot. Um, and I, you know, he's really hardcore death and black. But he also likes Rush. He likes a lot of cool non-metal stuff. And man, this dude is a bass player. Holy shit. Holy shit. He's a fucking wicked bass player. Um, check his bass playing videos out because this guy is, you know, very, very good musician. Um, played in some bands, I think, out in the Missouri area. I believe he's located in southwestern Missouri, I think. And uh, he does some cool stuff. Dark Hymns from the Cold North, Eli. Uh, Eli posts a lot. And that's not a negative. That's a good thing. The good thing about Eli is he nails it in five, six, seven minute bites. He doesn't usually have massive long videos like I do. And that's probably why people don't flock to me and watch a lot of my shit beyond a couple minutes. But he um he talks about really obscure black metal I've never heard of and frankly probably wouldn't enjoy because I'm not that guy. But it's cool there are people out there that love that stuff and he does a great job with that. He does a lot of DVD reviews and movie reviews and really nice dude. Uh, we collaborated on Two videos so far. He was on the Blue Oyster Cult deep dive with me and Dennis, and he also had me on 
by myself and we did a Genesis ranking, which was really cool because Eli's really into Prague too. Big yes, uh, Genesis fan. Um, yeah, great dude. Last one that I have here of the... Well, actually, this probably should go in the next category. So this is one where people rarely seem to post anymore. Um, and I just don't know if they've just lost interest, which I completely get and understand. But there's a couple that go in there. Vestavon's Blood Vox is Justin. Uh, Justin did a collab with me two months ago, I think, on uh, Typo Negan. It was so good to see Justin because he's just the kindest, nicest guy. Super sweet. Um, love that guy. And uh, super funny and intelligent and just a sweetheart. And But I think he has a life beyond uh, YouTube, which is good. Justin also has the dubious distinction of being the guy that goes to Goodwill and finds the fucking most bizarre, awesome shit that you should never find at Goodwill for pennies on the dollar. And I don't know how he's... I don't know. I think there's some sort, sort of... He made some sort of blood packed with Satan or something for that. I don't know. I, I'm kidding. Great guy, Justin. Alaskan Bergs Wanderer, Tyler up there in uh, the great white cold north, not Canada, even further west and even colder probably. Alaska. Tyler's been on some of our Satter Slay crew uh, lives. Um, he is really into the pagan black metal and the black metal uh, uh, you know, the one-man black metal stuff and a lot of the, I would call it the more, uh, not extreme, that's not the word I'm looking for, but I guess the cult black metal. But he's done a battery deep dive with me and I could swear he was on one other one, but I'm probably wrong about that. I didn't, you can see I didn't go hardcore on note-taking. I'm riffing most of this stuff. Um, he has a, a few videos and again, he's another guy like Jimmy. Um, that goes out and um, and uh, uh, does these hiking videos that are set to music then, I believe. And, man, I don't think... Jimmy has incredible videos out in Colorado, but... Sorry, Jimmy, I think your daddy is, is Tyler out there in Alaska because I don't think you can beat the scenery and the, the wild. Getting out in the wild is where Tyler goes, man, like the for real wild... And, and not that Jimmy doesn't go, because he goes out on camping trips alone, kind of, you know, Bear Grylls slash Survivor Man style. And I don't know if I don't know if Tyler does that or not. But um, yeah, these two guys, killer. There's another channel named Sylvan Wandering, and I forgot to write his name down. I think the guy's name is Nick, if or not Nick, Nate. Is it Nate? Nick? Fuck. I wrote I wrote it down, and I can't find the the. Uh, the guy's name and i apologize to you sir because i know you've been very kind on my uh on my youtube live streams and or not live streams on my interviews and if i screwed your damn name up hammer me i apologize for that i should have written that down i that was one that just popped into my mind sylvan wondering he just he again does these crazy crazy hiking nature videos where he's out in the middle of nowhere in this incredible scenery that's just mind-blowing and you know breathtaking and he sets a lot of this to black metal folk metal pagan folk metal uh soundtracks and doesn't an incredible and they're long they're long for them they're usually like at least an hour to two hours long or longer dude i'm really sorry i want to say it's nick or nate or I'll, I'll fix it in the comments below uh i'll pin his name down there and I'm going to try to post this in the description, all these channels, but I can't promise I'm going to get it done right away. It is Christmas Day, and I have to go pick my daughter up at the airport soon. She's flying in from uh, Asheville, North Carolina. I'm stoked because I haven't seen her in three years, and I miss her so bad. High Defamation TV, Eric Bauer. Eric kind of disappeared for a while from doing videos, which I think he kind of does from time to time, and um, which is totally understandable and cool. I know he's kind of gotten into jazz lately, and, and I hope he and I can do a jazz collab. The one collab we did, which was the Warrior Soul thing back in May, kind of derailed me from doing videos for almost the entire summer because I was really upset about it and pissed off about how that went down because I lost it. And it was a great deep dive, and of course, some of you may know about the Corey Clark saga where we were going to have an interview with him, and it didn't happen because he wasn't happy with our deep dive, and well... 
the interview didn't happen and now the uh, episode's gone and I doubt we'll I doubt Eric would want to sit and do it again and I kind of understand why um, let's see a couple are here that <coughs> these are some other channels I occasionally check out but I don't keep up with regularly and that's not a slight on these guys it's just the prospect of watching everything hits my feed regarding metal just isn't a reality and like I said I, I don't live in the extreme metal world 24 7 and i never will so that's just that um we got thrasher be thrashed we got frederick down in aussie he's been on he was on my atheist deep dive really really nice dude um funny quirky we always love when your mom walks into the videos and the live streams frederick that's that's hysterical um frederick is a thrash guy imagine that thrasher be thrashed he's a thrash guy and uh, and an old school death metal guy and black metal guy and uh, he uh, but he he did buy a Blue Oyster Cult album recently, so there's hope for him yet. There's hope for you, Frederick. Maybe, M maybe, but probably not. Uh, who else do we have on here? Metalomania is Chris. Chris is the master of editing. This guy is insane. What he does, man. He's had a a program on YouTube for quite a long time. He does, I think, with his wife, Scully, and he gets some crazy guests in. The unfortunate thing is I don't know 98% of the bands Chris does. <laughs> I just don't. And a lot of them are probably a little too extreme for me. I'm an old man. I'm, I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy. What can I say? I'm a poser. I'm a pink panty boy wearing poser. You know that. You guys all know that. Anybody that knows me knows how much of a pink panty boy poser I am. Um, yeah, so Chris, check him out over at Metalomania. Uh, the dude does insane, almost epileptic seizure-causing editing. It's so killer. Uh, check him out. Banger TV, I hardly ever watch anything from them, but every now and again I'll check out some stuff that DK might throw up or Sam might throw up and occasionally Blaine. Um, you know, I mean, they're... They're kind of the big boys in the pond, or one of the big boys in the pond, and they don't really put that much stuff out, seemingly, anymore. I do like, uh, what's her name? Sarah, is it? I enjoy her commentary, but she moved to Finland and doesn't do very much anymore. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, Old Head, I think the guy's name's Brandon. I looked everywhere. I watched a couple videos trying to find his name. I think it's Brandon, but I could be wrong, dude. If I fucked your name up, my apologies. He's kind of cool because he kind of does similar things to me and Pete Pardo, where he'll talk about extreme metal, he'll talk about heavy bands, but he also talks about stuff like Saigon Kick. And thanks to thanks to Old Head and an interview he did with Jason Beeler, I reached out to Jason and got him on for a two-hour interview that was killer. Just saying. Um, but yeah, that kind of spurred me to ask Jason to be on. Um, even though I was doing interviews already, uh, I kind of... We, I was totally into talking to, to Jason, and that was a killer interview, I think. Um, so thanks, Brandon, or Old Head, or whatever your name is. Uh, he, like I said, he does metal, hard rock vids with rankings. Cranker Yank, I think, is his series that he does with the dude from UK named Eddie, I think his name is. And, uh, yeah, a couple of interviews. Good dude, man. A couple other ones that I rarely ever watch, to be blunt with you. I just, I just don't, but I'll mention their channels. Chromium Dioxide, Phil. We all know what a legend this dude is. He does these crazy, crazy, crazy... I don't even know what to call them. Like, mini-episodes, skit episodes, where he incorporates puppets. Are they puppets or are they real? I don't know. I honestly don't follow the series, like, religiously enough to tell you who they are. I don't even know the character's name. It's a big white gorilla and <clears throat> a little dude that talks like this and... um or like this, I don't know, something like that. Um, I forget the guy's name. Uh, but Phil is, that's the guy, honestly, that does the insane, I don't even know what to call it, man. It's just, it's art. It's fucking pure art, and uh, you should check him out if you don't know him. Mike C. Tam, Mike's probably one of the biggest channels that has typically hung out with some of the metal VC people that are like in the smaller sphere. And uh, Mike's channel is crazy, and he's on all kinds of stuff. And a uh, super well-rounded dude, very into rap. Does some rap shows, very into black metal, like way out there, avant-garde black metal, and loves King Diamond. So there you go. Mike Seatown, uh, metal theologian Aaron over there. I like Aaron's delivery, just sitting on his 
living room floor with his surrounded by his nine million albums and talks about really obscure weird fucking metal that i probably will never buy and never get into but there you know on occasion i'll run across a video of his it'll pick my interest and i'll check it out so aaron over metal theologian the euro metal dudes that i occasionally look at uh death doom metal has liam over there he's death doom metal all the time he's also got a band i think it's called consecration i think they put out an album in the last six months or so, eight months, something like that. Really, really good, doom, deathy, riffy, My Dying Bride type stuff. Really, really nice guy, sweetheart of a guy. I haven't had a lot of interaction with him in a year or so, but he's a killer dude. Um, Mark G with a C, another guy I have some, you know, you know, interactions with here and there, on usually on Instagram. Uh, his channel is really cool. He does, like, channel up, uh, channel, I'm sorry, yeah, collection updates. Same with Liam, too, on Death Doom. Uh, they do a lot of collection updates. And I typically don't watch a lot of those anymore. And this is where I'm going to sound like the old man get off my lawn guy. I just don't want to see the same stuff that comes out that everybody talks about nonstop. Because it just kind of gets old. This is not a rip on Mark or Liam or anybody that does uh, the collection updates. I finally did a VCLT for the first time about a month ago where I updated shit that I got like two years ago. It's just not my thing. I don't buy a lot because of my health situation and financial situation. I have I have so much shit. That's just my Blu-rays over there. A few of my box sets. There's another 200 box sets over there. I'm not going to... Well, let me see. Over there, you can see that red thing. That's all box sets all the way to the floor and up top of there with some clean laundry. Um, <clears throat> there's another 50 or 60 box sets in that closet right there plus 10 probably um, boxes full of CDs then there's another 20 boxes in other closets around here I can't get at my collection so it's very hard for me to get excited about doing that kind of stuff um, that's why I do the deep dives I find the stuff that I have on them and then I deep dive into the band so there's a lot of stuff no one's ever going to see because I'm just not, you know, I'm not there uh, to do all that work and I can't display all that stuff. The other thing is, too, I'm doing these six packs with Metal Madness, which is a dilemma now because I'm not Metal Madness 66 anymore. So we'll have to figure that whole thing out. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, maybe a stop at the gas station with gas masks and hand grenades. That's terrible. We'll figure it out. Uh, but anyways, back to the Euro guys. Cloudy, Milder, Andy. Uh, Andy and I have a lot of similar likes and, and, and interests in music, I think. And I got to talk to him about doing a deep dive with me on Magnum. Only problem is that will go on for probably like two days because Magnum has like 25 albums out. So, um, yeah, Andy over Cloud, Cloudy Milder does a really nice job. And now Jurgen, I don't know what his channel, I think his channel was Jurgen before, but he went. he's now this Albert Ample guy. And this is a guy that really knows especially European metal, but man, he knows metal, dude. Um, crazy collection. Don't watch him regularly. Um, as I said, I just don't watch a lot of metal channels regularly, but, uh, but I check him out on occasion. I think he's been doing like a thrash album a day series since he changed the name of his channel. I'm not really sure what the story behind that was, but uh, a couple other quick mentions for non metal related channels. As I said, Pete Pardo, City of Tranquility, was my uh, gateway drug into this whole nightmare. Uh, some other stuff. Norman Maslov, or Mazzy, crazy multi-genre collection. This dude has fucking crazy shit. Crazy audiophile. Really interesting, fun, uh, you know, host. He just... He... There are people, though, that I feel that, like, post too much. And there, there's a couple of those guys. Mazzy, I'm not saying he is that guy, but he posts a lot. So I could never keep up with what he's got going on. Um, the Metal Voice with um, Jimmy and Alan. I love Met Jimmy and Alan. Great Canadian duo that, uh, you know, pretty big channel, like 25, 30,000 subs, something like that. They do a lot of cool interviews. They get some pretty big names. Um, they're fun guys. They're really, really fun. Uh, very Canadian in their humor. And uh, they, they, they do good stuff. Uh, Jimmy's a real, really, really great guy, I think. Same with Alan. And uh, they, they do reviews and 
some round, some smaller round table things. Not like deep. I guess they do kind of do like deep dives when there's like a big album. I remember them doing like Megadeth's last album and Iron Maiden and stuff like that, the biggies. And so Metal Voice is really cool. Contrarians with Martin Popoff. I don't know the other guy's name, the host guy. I, should know that. I think his name, name might be Nate. My apologies if I goof that up. But uh, they do... Really, de- they do really cool topical streams on, or videos and streams on like a, a number of different genres: metal, hard rock, '80s music, and Martin Popoff. We all, Popoff, we all know one of the uh, you know uh, OGs, and one of the kind of uh, what would I call him? Like the he's a little older than me, a year or two, and. He really knows his metal, man. He really knows rock and metal history. And, of course, he writes a lot of killer books that I have a few of, actually. Um, the Rush series is one that comes to mind. Prog Dog. This is Dean. Uh, he does reviews and react videos. I'm not big on the react thing. I don't really watch those. But he's also what I primarily watch. His, it's not called Prog Dog, though. It might be under his name, <coughs> which I'm forgetting his last name, but... It, <clears throat> Look up Prog Dog and you'll find his, his other website. Um, great guitar player. Really does really good breakdowns and, and tutorials for uh, prog songs, especially Rush, which I knew I know most Rush songs, but he's helped me learn a couple, and I've helped him uh, change some things that weren't right on one or two videos. Full in Bloom. I don't know who that guy is, but he does killer uh, interviews, mainly of 80s artists and bands. Um the world of Jason Green. Uh, he does a lot of 80s lives, interviews, fun hangs and lives. Jason's Jason's a lot of fun. I think he's a tour manager of Stephen Piercy Band now. And uh, he does some live on the road stuff and some uh, uh, vlogs of like his life on the road with doing that. And it's good stuff. Jason seems like a really good dude too. Stone F- Films, New York City, Hardcore Punk and Crossover. They do lives, historical stuff of the New York City era of the, those two those genres. That's Drew Stone's channel. Really, really good shit there, too. Rock Fantasy with Steve Keeler of the Sea of Tranquility. Family of people. Uh, reviews, rankings, interviews, really cool stuff. No fucking regrets with Rob Flynn. When Rob has a good uh, guest on, I got to admit, a lot of people shit on Rob Flynn, and I, I get where his politics and wokeness sometimes are a little much, slightly a little bit much for me. But I think Rob's a really good dude. Um, I don't. Well, I'm not a big Machine Head fan. Sorry, Rob. But I think I, I much respect to Rob and his legacy and what he's done in that the you know the thrash Bay Area, whatever you want to call it, uh, era of, not era um, genre of music. Um, he's an OG. Rob. Rob, I think is a good guy. Zetro's Toxic Vault. Steve Souza, you know, mostly stuff about the Bay Area bands. He's had great, amazing interviews on. He was also kind of one that kind of spurred me to want to do this a little bit. And uh, Prog Report with Roy, Roy. They do mainly Prog reporting and interviews and reviews. Great stuff. Almost Human with Ralph Vieira's. I check in on him occasionally. Ralph's irreverent sense of humor is kind of fun sometimes. Um, I love when he calls people pickle whistlers. He's kind of right about that. And he does track by tracks and guests and uh, more like historical sort of uh, bio docs. I don't know what you'd call them, whether you call them that, something like that. And then last, but very much not least, my best, probably one of my best friends uh, for life. We go back a long, long ways. Black Room Secrets and Surge. He hasn't been doing anything for a while. He's got a young two-year-old. He sits in with us a lot on um, Satter Slay Crew stuff, and he also does a lot of my deep dives. He's been on a lot of them. Uh, certainly the ones that are a little less the death metal, heavy metal stuff. He's done Stephen Wilson and Porcupine Tree and uh, Alice, I think Alice in Chains, Opeth, um, Stephen Wilson, The Cure. We just did a killer one on The Cure, which you should check out. And... Uh, Serge, I love you, brother. You're here, man. I think that's it. I think I got to the end of my list there. Um, there's probably some people I left off, and I just, you know, I missed. I tried to kind of go through my list of people that I'm sub to and throw everybody down that I could remember. There's a couple that I know I never watch, and so I just kind of 
uh, didn't include them. And again, my apologies that I don't watch all your videos religiously. I'm sure you don't watch my videos religiously and that's totally cool. I don't make a lot of videos. I kind of do the live stream deep dive thing and the, uh, the interview thing, which I've, I'm ramping up even further and harder. Uh, upcoming there, I've got Steve Von Till coming up from Neurosis. Got Mark Knight from Bang Tango. Someone, someone just like you. Anyways, uh, got him coming in on the 29th. I don't have Steve set up yet permanently. I think and hope and crossing my fingers, I have two death metal legends coming up uh, probably in January. I've got Kevin Hoffnagel from Gorguts coming up in January. <clears throat> I've got, I know I'm missing one or two here. I've got feelers out on several people. A couple people have expressed interest. I think they just with the holidays, they don't have time to, to give me a firm commitment. Um, trying to rope in one legendary industrial pioneer uh, who I'm in contact with now and, and hoping that uh, he uh, is willing to do something with me sometime in January. So that's that. Um, as far as future videos, Jimmy, or I'm sorry, Dennis and I have the uh, second edition of the 80s flashback series coming on the 5th, I think we're going to do that. Um, that is going to be on Omen, but it's only the first four albums. Icon, the three albums, and Fifth Angel, the two albums by them. Well, we're probably going to do the third one, but you can't get it except for in Europe or as a CDR in the U.S., and I'm not... I'm not doing the CDR thing. <clears throat> it's a good album, though. It's, it's actually quite good for being away for a, a long, 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 long time. But there is a third, a Fifth Angel album. i got to remind Jimmy of that, too. So we got that coming up. Peter Murphy deep dive I'm going to do with Angel, who was on with me for Cure, The Cure. Uh, and I'm trying to set up for... I want to do a Origins of Industrial Music with myself and Serge and Das Kristoff, who did that killer Skinny Puppy deep dive last year. Uh, das Kristoff is legendary DJ up in the New York area, and the guy is just a... a he's a... Thes not a thesaurus, a dictionary, whatever, a, an encyclopedia, that's the word I'm looking for, of, uh, of killer electronica and... Uh, industrial information so we're going to try and get that some done sometime in january i want to do a dark ambient deep dive quasi thing and i want to do a uh obviously a tangerine dream thing we're going to try to get that done is there anything else over here roxy music is on the uh on the docket also gary newman is on the docket for sure i'm hoping that um I can get somebody to work on that one with me, but I may end up doing that one alone. Frank Marino, Mahogany Rush is another one that's on the, on the docket. Uh, as far as metal stuff, I know there's shit. Oh, Autopsy, I want to do an Autopsy one. I got to find some people to join me on that. Probably Devin will join me for that. Uh, oh, Cynic Deep Dive, but there's maybe a real big twist to that. So I can't really say anything further about that. So those are the things that are happening in the very near future. And the last thing I want to discuss quickly is... January 7th, we're doing a major monster, insane, crazy, over-the-top uh, live stream on Rick's channel, The Dreadful Minutes, where we're going to talk about metal elitism. We're going to do a roundtable with several questions that we pose to the panelists, um, and we are going to then do discussion on that. And then, you know, and there's two shifts of this thing. And I know it's, I probably way overshot the mark on this as far as guests, but... I don't care. We're going to do it. Um, we got Brian, me, Jake, Nick, Lee, literal Lee, I think is in there. Lee G from Georgia. He doesn't have a channel yet, but I think he's working on one. Fine. Lee, uh, Matt from the Accusation Network, Robert from Metal Meltdown. Uh, I said Nick. Nick and John from Thralls. Uh, Chris from Metalomania. Jimmy, Dennis, Devin. Oh, Phil, from who doesn't have a channel as well. Phil is going to join us. I finally roped him into it. Phil's a longtime watcher, commenter, and he's been on a Saturday Slay Crew uh, video or two. Phil's awesome. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Am I missing anyone? Jake, Brian, Rick, uh, Kellen, uh, Logan is going to be on there. Um I 
if I missed anybody, I really apologize. I have that list somewhere else on a different, uh, a different in my notes in my phone and I'm shooting this on my phone. So we're going to, anyways, that's going to stacking up to be something crazy. We was going to try to do, we were going to try to do a year end thing, but other channels are doing year end stuff. And we decided we'll just do it the first weekend in, uh, in January. So it's kind of a kickoff your beginning kickoff stream on metal elitism. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the upcoming events on my channel. And the one thing that I kind of, brainchilded sort of kind of the metal elitism thing and so yeah that's gonna start at seven on saturdays we usually start on at nine with the satyr slay crew uh streams but we can't do that with all these people joining in and trying to get through these four questions we're gonna start at 7 p.m on saturday the, the seventh on the dreadful minutes and rick will have crazy artwork i'm sure and we'll try to get that announced uh a week or so before no pressure, Rick. No pressure at all. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's it. Uh, check these channels out. Like I said, I'll try to post their links in the description. Um, and, uh, you know, enjoy these channels, man. These are good dudes. They're all really cool people. Um, and, uh, you know, and there's a host of other channels I'm sure I overlooked uh, or that I just don't watch anymore. And, um, you know, but support this community because generally speaking, there's a lot of really good dudes in it and uh, really great people, really fine people. And um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, one last one I wanted to announce, kind of quasi announce, is that Don Anderson from Magalock and I are going to do a horror themed movie stream sometime in January. Uh, we're going to maybe pick a couple films that we've not seen for each other watch them and then review them and of course probably have the physical product to show don't know if that's going to be a regular thing i don't think it would be don's got a real life he's got a real job and young child and i don't think he wants to be obligated to doing this regularly but uh but i i did talk him into to joining me for that and don't have a title for that thing because it's probably a one-off but we'll see don't know when that's going to be probably mid january late january i think that's it I think that's it. Go check these channels out. And uh, stay metal.